Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team Let's Play. In the last episode, some kind of dark trio just woke us up. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what happened, so let's get going on. We might actually find out. Come on, vlogger! I also have a little bit of cold going on. You might be able to hear it and I oh, might notice it. Ha! Someone you asked you to go on a rescue? Yes! I forgot the trio's voice. Our child Diglett was kidnapped. He was taken to Mount Steel Summit. Please, we need your help. Bye bye. Right. I see. I guess we better get going. I guess we do. Go to Mount Steel. I have a really annoying itch in my nose, actually. I don't know why it's here all of a sudden. So, this is it Mount Steel. Diggle has been taken uh, to the peak of this. That's right. The peak of Force uh, 9. Thank you for helping. Farewell. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess we go. Guess we do. Mount Steel, floor one. We cannot recruit. Um, I was gonna say I want to recruit the Zigzagoon just because we cannot yet recruit any Pokemon in our team. I forgot. That's just from the shock. I've got plenty of Formal Shock left, and I only will need a couple of... I don't know if we actually already were told who the boss is in this area. I think we weren't. I'm not gonna spoil it. We'll only need a couple of Formal Shocks and maybe Water Guns um, to take it out. Teladal does have Water Gun, right? Not yet, but at the end of this, I hope he will. Oh, and Gravel Rock, which is really nice. You can throw it, and it'll do like 20 damage. And is something that ooh. oh, that, that does a good amount of damage, and it's something that you can do from a distance, so you don't have to be close to the Pokemon, so they can't attack you, but you can throw gravel rocks. It does, however, take up a turn, so there's a downside to it; they'll get closer to you. But you can use it for the first turn of a boss battle, and then they can close to you, and then you can actually use attacks. So it's rather nice. And I'm wasting Thunder Shocks. I should be stopping that right about now. I'm getting really lucky with these stairs, I must say. Oh, an orb, an orb. I think we haven't had orbs yet. Orbs you can throw or use, and they all have uh, different effects. There are a huge amount of different orbs. Escape orbs, hurl orbs. I don't know any other orbs at the top of my head, but there are a good amount of orbs. We'll be seeing a lot of them in the future. Another orb, there we go, an escape orb. You can escape the dungeon with that. I'm not entirely sure what a hurl orb actually does. I'm gonna look into that right about now. And there's the other... Wow, getting really lucky with these stairs, like I said. Let's see, info. We're also targeting another foe and um, like damage. Oh, it's just like a uh, gravel rock in that case. I think we'll probably do more damage than a gravel rock, to be honest, because it's, well... Kind of rare. Ooh, that did a good amount of damage. Okay, just to be sure, I'm gonna Thunder Shock that should kill. And that's an Orum Berry, which you can use to help your Pokemon. But you can also press A and B, and it speeds up time, and you can, well, heal up like that because you automatically regenerate. Don't use Leer, that's bad. Yeah, use Scratch, that's more powerful. Oh, you're gonna die. If you use a tackle, you're gonna die. No, no turtle dial. Turtle dial. No, no turtle dial. You shouldn't. No, no, no. Die. Turtle dial, kill him. Good. So let's, let's just go, go on. Because there are a lot of Pokemon here and I really don't feel like fighting all of them just to heal up because they'll damage me and... I'm gonna try and throw that hurl off. Let's see what it does. It does nothing because I'm... Literally next to it. Okay. You defend scroll. Go on and defend scroll. No, don't leave. Okay, you can take one more of those. I'm just gonna thunder shock you. It's probably not gonna do too much, but uh, that damn Tadada doll is doing nothing either. Oh, what? I had a revival seat. Okay. I just wasted that revival seat, but I suppose I can't be complaining too much. So, I've got my Hurl Orb back when uh, you fail to use an item for some reason. 
Uh, you can just get a bug by walking over to it. As logic is. <laughs> uh, let's both attack him. So I don't have to waste any more from the shocks on it. Because I don't think I have too many to... Oh, I've got plenty left. Let's just use a wall couple. And right over there in the right hand corner, you can see a gummy. You can use gummies to boost your IQ, which means that you can learn certain skills. Every single uh, type has a special kind of gummy, which is more effective. For Totodile, which is a water type, a uh, blue gummy would be really more effective. And the gun we just picked up was actually supposed to be used by steel types because it wasn't grey gummy. Grey gummies are really good for steel types. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Die, please die. Oh, please die. Please die. You have to die now. I cannot do that because there's a wall. Okay. We have to switch. Bide. I'll be able to kill you before you can do anything, right? Yeah. So now I have to wait for Croc. Uh, now Bob, it's Bob. Obviously, it's not Croc. What I can do though is I can give him a Orum Berry. I can give it to Bob, and he should use it, but he doesn't. Yeah, I was gonna say, but he doesn't. Yes, he does. It heals like 50 HP. Uh, in the actual main series games, an Orum Berry only heals 10 HP, but in this game, it's kind of overpowered because there are no potions here. Look, Logger, Diglett's over there! Hey, are you alright? We have to rescue you! I... I am scared. You, what are you doing here? We came to rescue Diglett. Hey, Scumry, quit doing this and release Diglett! How dare you! It's their fault. I haven't slept in days because of the earthquake that uh, uh, frightened me, so... Huh? Um. Every night we had to, uh, th that is not proper English, I don't think. But he can't sleep because of the earthquakes. Those earthquakes are caused by uh, this uh, bar that ill. Again, not proper English, I don't think. Running world on the ground. Why? Well, that, that's not true. Sure, there have been earthquakes lately. But it would take more than a Ziggler's family running uh, under the ground to set off a quake. You be quiet! We'll be, uh, we'll fight to keep that up, so, uh, I don't know. It's useless, this Carl and Marie so seem to talk reasonably. We have to fight. We do. And so it is that we enter our first boss battle. I'm gonna try and throw the hurling up again, and this one's probably gonna do a bit more damage. Oh. So what you can do actually is, you can turn off moves of your uh, partner. So now he can only use Scratch, which is really useful, because I run a damage this guy. That's what I want to do. And he's paralyzed. Oh, getting Pikachu probably was the best thing ever. I could have found the wave, granted, but still. Wow, that deals a huge amount of damage. We're going to be able to take this thing out, no problem. That's been it. That was the boss battle. <sighs> I can't keep up. I'll flee for now. Hey, we sent Skarmory packing. You're safe now, come down. I, I, I can't, I'm too scared to move. Okay, no sweats. We'll try uh, to go to you, just wait. Whoa. Whoa, that's some cliff, we can't see the bottom. Vlogger, what will we do? We can't get across here. Bzzz. Hey, it's those magnemites from the rescue. We got uh, word of this. We can, uh, we can rescue the Diglett from the skies. Hold on tight, Diglett. How does it look like on the ground? Don't be scared. We won't make a mistake of zapping you. Even then, he's a ground type. He should be fine. <laughs> oh, I was very scared. Maybe because I was somewhere up high. My feet felt like the... You have feet? Okay, that's, that's something. You have feet. They were still walking on air. Feet? He has them... He has them feet? Oh, well, you're safe now. Good thing, huh? Yes, thank you very much. Oh, you've been rescued. Great, great. And what was that? Who said that? Oops, you can't see us. How terribly rude of us. Hello, the trio here. Ah, Papa. Diglett, you are just worried. Are you not hurt? No, 
It was scary, but I'm alright. It's all thanks to Vlogger's team. Thank you for everything. You're heroes. If you want to thank anyone, it's our Magnemite friends. Uh, we couldn't have done it without uh, help, something, something. Oh, how rude of us. Thank you so much. No, no. It was uh, all a good thing to do, and... How uh, both uh, our evolved forms jo uh, joined trios, uh, some... It's a running joke, and they just used it, really. <laughs> I felt a sudden kinship. After all, Pokemon must help each other. I'm impressed, sincerely, thank you. So, there actually there's three of them together, it's not even like they're four when two new ones just spring into being. They just hang out, and now they're a new evolution. Okay, we must get going, vlogger. Bob. Oh yeah, he's Bob. I was gonna say, Bob? Who's Bob? <laughs> Thank you. Farewell. I received 500 Poké, and a Paychess Calf, and a King Sang. Forgot what King Sang does, actually. We'll be on our way to... Wait a sec, hold on! What is it? Listen, um, how would you like to join us? Join your team? Yes. We couldn't have done the last job without you, uh, around Magnemite. I thought you were uh, in need of... I thought we would need you to uh, help you... Uh, people with rescuing... I don't know, that was a hard sentence to say, okay? Um, yes, more members are needed. So, come on, how about it? Join our rescue team, what do you say? Rescue team? Sounds uh, fun. I hate these Magnemites already. But if you need us to rush over and rescues, we need somewhere to live close by. Oh, my screen keeps getting black. Uh, really? Okay. <laughs> is there anywhere we can live in this area? Mm, well, oh, there isn't. Too bad. Sorry, but we can't join you. See you. Bzz. That is too bad. I guess we uh, need somewhere for the Pokemon to live if we want them uh, to join our rescue team. I know. Let's go to the Pokemon Square tomorrow. There's an interesting uh, shop called your Wigglytuff Club. It wasn't open the other day when we were at the square. But it might be over tomorrow, though. It's the shop next to the facility bank. Usually, Wigglytuff is there. We might be able to get some useful information there. But, all right. So that's uh, what we'll do tomorrow. We'll go to Pokemon Square. We'll do that. Save your adventure. No. Another dream. Another dream. Again? It's the dream again. That Pokemon. Who could it be? Huh? I'm hearing this battle this time. What? Human? My role? But wait, please tell me more! I can't drift enough. Okay. The next morning. I will go to Pokemon Square in this episode. I was gonna say this is the end of this episode, but no, no, no. Morning, vlogger! Haha! <laughs> Uh, what's the dazed look um, and confused uh, dazed and confused look? You look half asleep, huh? You've been having weird dreams. That's sort of weird. What sort of weird dreams? Vlogger saw Bob about his dreams. Well, I suppose that saves a lot of dialogue, doesn't it? <laughs> mm hmm. Huh? Vlogger, you say you're really a human, right? So I was thinking, maybe those dreams have something to do uh, with how you became a Pokemon. So let me ask you, Vlogger, what are you thinking? Do you want to go back to being a human? It's true. I haven't thought about this uh, uh, very much. Do I want to become a human again? I'm not sure. Huh? What's wrong? You can't decide? Well, I guess so. It's a lot more fun hanging around with me. Wow. Total way to be douchebag. <laughs> anyway, I promise we go to Pokemon Square today, remember? We're supposed to ask uh, uh, how we can recruit new members to our team. Let's roll already. I still don't like... Total does voice at all. <laughs> so let's go to the Wigglytuff shop. My friend, friends are my treasures. Oh, I was gonna say our treasures, friends or friends treasures, but that's some uh, friends. Uh, yeah, friends are treasures. Welcome to the Wigglytuff Club, a circle of friends. Oh, is it your first visit here? Oh, I get it. You started a rescue team, didn't you? You've come to the right place. I sell friend areas to add members to your rescue team. How do you sell that? I mean, I suppose you probably have a lot of ground and you sell that ground. That doesn't make a huge amount of sense, though. Since you're here for the very first time, I'll give you two friend areas for free. Let's do it. Wigglytuff, Wigglytuff, let's be friends, ta-da! 
Congratulations! You can now go to the wild plains. You can also go to, uh, go to the mist rice forest. That's probably where one of those is where uh, Turtle lives. Uh, I mean Bob. Bob lives there. Now you can recruit Pokemon that live in those two friends areas. How do you recruit new members? Well, you're fighting Pokemon uh, that live in a friend area. Sometimes they will come to admire you as a friend. In that case, you may ask them to join our, your team. They may... Uh, yeah, yeah. Just keep trying. Bzz, bzz. You're giving friends areas away, so you can also give the friends access to the power plant friend area. I also want to join their rescue team. Okay, gotcha. I'm giving it away today. Wigglytuff, Wigglytuff, let's be friends to ha! Congratulations, you can now go to the power plant area. Yes, now I can join their team. Yeah, I bzz, 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 bzz. Sorry, I know my friend turned down your offer with your team yesterday. But after uh, mulling it over all last night, your friend, uh, my friend developed uh, the, the desire to become a team member. I am having really hard times reading dialogue for some reason. I don't know why. I apologize. But could you allow uh, my friend to join your rescue team? Oh, wow. Don't for uh, Oh, wow. Don't forget. We were the ones that asked you to uh, join in as friends for a rescue team and have a good party and, you know, get drunk and use... Uh, yeah. Okay. That aside, so, yes, that's awesome. Glad to have you uh, as a friend aboard. All right, good on you. Do your best uh, and try to uh, not to hinder your rescue teammates. Yeah, I'll do my best. Yeah, I, bzz, bzz. I think this is the last time I actually have to do that voice. Give a nickname to Magmite, I feel like I should. Oh yeah, obviously, 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 it's gonna be force. <laughs> who, who else? Force is okay, yeah, force is okay. I'll be resting up at the power plant friend area. If you want me to tag along for your rescue, come and get me at the power plant. Okay, bzz. You can go to your friend area by the, uh, taking the laugh path from the rescue team base. There's a sign on the path uh, should uh, if you have any trouble or something. That's all the giveaways today. If you need more friend areas, you'll have to point them now. Yeah, I figured... Oh, oh come on. Well... I, no, I'm just going to do it this episode. I was going to say, we're going to do that next episode. We don't know now. Uh, what's going on over there? There seems like some kind of commotion. Please, help my friend. Please, I need help. Forget it. We're not about to work for that. But my friends need a gust of wind, please. Hey, what's up? Oh, the scene here. Jim Bluff's begging for a rescue uh, mission. Not finding any luck. You see that guy? There, there's one of the middle with a uh, pointy nose. He's a uh, Pokemon named Chiftry. He's got his own rescue team. But his team is greedy. They don't uh, work unless you get paid royally. Jumplove has been begging for help, but I feel sorry for that poor Pokemon. Wait. Hey, what do you want? Oh, it's Alakazam. That's Alakazam? Hey, rather cold-hearted, aren't you? To save Jumplot's friends, a strong wind is needed. Your uh, Levy fans can whip up powerful winds. It's an easy matter for you. Help the Pokemon out. Urgh. Okay, we'll do it. Wow, the Chiefs agreed with any, uh, any other arguments. Hey, who are those guys? What? You don't know? It's Alakazam's team. They're my most famous... I feel like Lombre should have a different voice. They're the most famous, I don't know. But I'm just gonna stick with it. Everybody's gonna have the same voice. This is gonna go well. They're the most famous rescue team around these parts. That's Charizard. His flamethrower can melt mountains. That's Tyranitar. The he takes great pride as an uh, in his armored body and amazing strength. And that's the leader, Alakazam. Alakazam doesn't like physical attacks. He fights with psychic powers. He's endeavored uh, with an amazing brain of an IQ of 1,000, 5,000, actually. What did I say? It's over 9! No, it's not over 9,000. Okay. Apparently, he's memorized everything that happened in the world. Alakazam does uh, all the commanding in the team. He's clearly in charge. Th th thank you. No need for thanks. It's all natural uh, to help something. If, you turn, uh, if anyone turns you down again, come see me. Take care. C cool. I wouldn't expect less from a gold rank rescue team. 
<laughs> what, what, what's wrong? What's up? It's fine. Nothing. Let's go. Here, we have a scary cheese. G cool. Here, vlogger. That's what we've uh, got to become. Let's uh, get more members and make our uh, rescue team first class. If I can help it. <laughs> The next morning. Well, that's been it for today. Do not forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. Next time we'll be back. I don't know what we'll be doing. Probably just some missions. I don't know. Until then, do not forget, I already did that. I'm a vlogger, you've been awesome. Bye. <laughs>